Mr. President, during the last decade, Azerbaijan made tremendous development in economy, health, agriculture, life quality, and other aspects of the life. We know that such a rapid development wouldn't be possible without our natural resources, such as gas and oil. But we also realize that sooner or later, our natural resources will be exhausted. What will we do then? It is obvious that one of the options to survive and succeed in the future is to invest into science and technology. Azerbaijan has huge potential for that, and we have thousands and thousands of smart guys who may contribute to prosperity of Azerbaijan through the science and technology in the recent future. But unfortunately, many young and bright scientists are resigning and quitting their professions now due to the low salary and absence of proper and sometimes even basic condition for scientific work in the research institute. Without proper investment into science and technology, we can't stop brain leaking from Azerbaijan. And accordingly, without our own scientists and technology in the future, we will be depend on mercy of other countries with more advanced science and technologies. To secure future generation of Azerbaijan from energy point of view, we need sufficient and sustainable energy supply. And I believe it is time to think about nuclear energy for Azerbaijan with no weakening attention to the other source of power such as wind and solar energy of course. The future and present problems such as soil erosion, genetically modified food, animal breeding, production of safe vaccine and drugs and many others can be solved only through the scientific and high-tech approach.